okay welcome to this module now we are going into the self-produced print-on-demand e-commerce business model and this is the part one of this model okay by the end of this model you should be able to determine or to understand how the self-produced um, model works okay and um, the things you need to start and successfully run one so this is just my own um what i came up with uh, you know the self-produced model okay so that you can be able to distinguish between the self-produced model and the drop shipping model all right so let's proceed so what's the self-produced um, business model for t-shirts this involves running a t-shirt business by sourcing for materials printing designs and fulfilling orders without depending on a third party fulfillment company this model works best as a local business with or without online presence and also produces t-shirts based on demand or otherwise so this is basically a, an overview of what the self-produced t-shirt business model is and um, it's mainly for small entrepreneurs so it's something that actually a company can do yes there are companies out there who do this kind of business but you can also start this as a an entrepreneur yeah, you can do it by yourself probably with the help of a few staff or, or family all right these are the considerations you have to bear in mind and we are going to we are going into each of them one after the other so first of all you need to have a business plan for you to start this business you need to have a business plan you need to define your business goals your target market and your unique selling proposition or what we call a USP okay a unique selling proposition is just um, something that sets you apart in the marketplace all right so your your brand should have a unique selling proposition you should also conduct um, some research to understand your competition and pricing and potential demand for your products and you should develop a detailed financial plan which of course includes your costs your pricing and your projected revenue the next thing you have to consider is your niche now a niche is simply an area of specialization whether uh, when you talk about niches you're talking about interests all right so you need to determine your niche or the kind of t-shirts you want to produce the kind of designs you want to see on your t-shirts so that is your niche you can focus on so many niches out there yeah you can focus on just one of them and build a brand around it now determine your target market and identify a specific niche or segment to focus on for instance it could be sports it could be corporate events it could be non-profit organizations it could be um, outdoors it could be um, swimming it could be um, travel just about anything any niche there are so many niches out there All right so find out your niche and decide on whether it's going to be profitable whether the demand is there already all right now next you have to tailor your designs your marketing and customer service to appeal to your chosen niche so everything you are going to do down the road are going to revolve around your niche so you have to tailor your marketing you have to tailor your branding to align with your niche okay next up you have to consider the equipment you need to purchase some equipment like um, DTG or direct to garment printers uh, screen printing equipment heat presses curing machines now uh, there are several equipment out there that you can purchase but I would recommend that you find out the ones that can fit your budget and the ones that you, you also have expertise okay in or you can get someone to operate something like that 
So you have to buy inks, you have to buy screens, you have to buy emotion or pigments, you have to buy so many other things, supplies that you need depending on your chosen printing method. If you are going to use direct to garment machines, you don't need so much, just buy the machine, buy the, the inks and some other uh, accessories and you are good to go. Okay, then next up you have to get supplies, you have to source your inventory, you have to source your your stock t-shirts to go for high quality blank t-shirts, various sizes, colors and styles. There are so many suppliers on Alibaba or AliExpress that you can reach out to and buy your blank t-shirts with which you are going to start producing your designs or printing your designs on the next thing you have to think about is kind of designs that you have to produce okay so this is the part where you create the actual designs that you are going to put on your t-shirts or print on your t-shirts so so you have to develop a portfolio of unique and appealing designs that will interest uh, that will cater to your market okay you have to hire a skilled graphic designer or you have to learn you can learn graphic design by yourself and create your designs by yourself to to minimize the costs i have i have a graphic design course on udemy on this platform that you can actually sign up for if you if you are interested so i'm going to include the link in the notes on this particular module so you can check it out i put my experience uh, my expertise of almost 20 years into that course all right so hire a skilled graphic designer or you can create the designs by yourself but make sure that your designs are professional looking and um, well prepared and neat now ensure your designs are suitable for different printing techniques and can be easily reproduced on t-shirts you, you need to understand how this equipment work some equipment like screen printers they are limited in the way they reproduce um, colors so you have to have that in mind now if you have a, if you are going to buy a direct to garment um, machine you should also also understand uh, how it works and the kind of prints it can produce so you have to understand your equipment and uh, make sure that your designs are suitable for the kind of equipment you're going to be using um, in your business next up you have to you need to create a, um, a professional website to showcase your your designs your mock-ups okay or mock-ups containing your designs and your t-shirts so well so that when people visit your website they can actually make orders and you can produce and fulfill those orders optimize your website for search engines using a search engine optimization so that you can increase your visibility and attract organic traffic there's actually an aspect of seo called um local seo so if you can if you can if you if you can optimize your business for that um metric or for that for local seo it's going to be a great um it's going to be a very powerful way to project your brand and they attract organic traffic to your website you can also utilize social media platforms to promote your business engage with customers and share your designs develop a recognizable brand identity your logo your color scheme and your and your branding should be consistent across all platforms whether it's social media or your website all right so i'm going to show you this website here uh, school by printing 
they're based somewhere out there in um i think probably australia so this is how their website looks like so they produce these t-shirts so you can see the different designs this is a halloween t-shirt so you can see how um, neat and how professionally designed this is so this um, website is a self is for a self-produced t-shirt business all right so um they have a lot of they have lots of um, t-shirts on this website okay next up this is um one of my websites this is my own dropshipping um, e-commerce t-shirt merchandise website it's not just t-shirts i sell mugs on here i sell um, hoodies i sell sweatshirts pillows hats and every other thing now this niche is fate this is the niche fate so i design most of these designs and you can check the website out and see for yourself how i was able to create this website all right so evangelmerch.us that is the website so you can check it out so there is a shopping cart as you can see and um, there are so many designs and so many products on here so i encourage you to check it out and see for yourself how it works all right now let's talk about marketing and advertising now if you if you are going to do well as a self-produced t-shirt business entrepreneur you should have a solid marketing and advertising strategy you should utilize digital marketing strategies such as social media advertising content marketing email campaigns to reach your target audience now all these are, are the channels through which you can create or project your brand uh, like social media advertising content marketing now I talk about this in some other module all right but then that is it you have to advertise you have to push your brand out there you have to project your brand by advertising and marketing because if you don't do that your business is not going to get the traction that it deserves all right so you can also attend local events like trade shows and exhibitions to showcase your products and to network with potential customers you can also collaborate collaborate with influencer influencers like social media influencers and um, collaborate with them to market or to project your brand local businesses and organizations you can also collaborate with them probably do some networking and find out how you can benefit each other's business you can also offer promotional discounts referral programs and loyalty rewards to encourage repeat business in this instance it's up to you you can do promotions you can do affiliate referral programs you can do loyalty rewards to your customers you can give them gifts just to encourage them to come back okay now let's talk about quality control and customer service now you, you need to focus on delivering high quality products with attention to detail now what sets um, the self-produced model apart is the the quality you have a greater degree of control over the quality of your merchandise the stock t-shirts or blank t-shirts and the other designs so you have greater control and you have to ensure that everything is top-notch and you pay attention to detail even if people even if you want your customers to to send in their designs and you produce for them you have to stick to 
high quality you have to you shouldn't compromise on the quality of the designs because it's going to affect your reputation down the road you should also provide excellent customer service including uh, responding to your customer queries and making sure that your customers are satisfied and you should also offer customization options and personalized experiences to meet customer preferences uh, for instance you should be able to allow your customers to provide the artwork and you cannot actually produce their t-shirts which is which is standard for this kind of business so that is it and you should also build uh, long-term relationships with your customers through follow-ups loyalty programs and special offers so this is one of the ways you can sustain your brand relationship with your customers all right let's talk about pricing and profitability production efficiency and scaling be competitive with your pricing actually you can actually set much higher margins for this kind of business model you can actually set higher price margins unlike the drop shipping model or the marketplace model and um, your market demand and perceived value you should make sure that these are reflected in your pricing okay now regularly review your pricing strategy and adjust it based on market trends and changes in costs you should also streamline your production process to maximize efficiency and minimize errors now, what this means is that you should be very careful in your production um, processes so that you don't waste you don't you don't uh, you minimize wastage okay now make sure that your inventory doesn't run out and um, make sure that your inventory is in, you're in full control of your inventory and um, that supplies your supply chain is is always um, on track so that you can actually deliver or fulfill your orders timely in a timely fashion you should also optimize your workflow to handle orders effectively from design approval to printing packaging and shipping all right now these are just tips um final tips that you should take note of and the idea is that if you are able to implement this your business should there is no stopping you your business is going to benefit uh, exponentially you can scale your business you can grow your business you know by being up to date with industry trends by you know improving the standard of your production the quality of your prints attending workshops seminars trade shows expanding your knowledge and your skills and um, actually relating to your customers in order to satisfy them improving your products and services all right so this is it for this or for this module thank you for being there i'll see you in the next one